Hey folks, Daniel Osborne here. This is video number 79 in the video series that corresponds to the book, Road of Happy Destiny. And I have a book update for the Road of Happy Destiny, and I even have a picture of it. Uh, I signed the book contract. This book is officially absolutely getting published, as it was going to be, but now it's more official. So it's going to be happening probably at the end of uh, 2022, or maybe mid-2023. Uh, there's evidently a lot more that goes into publishing a book than uh, than I had originally anticipated. The manuscript is basically finished, and it's just a matter of fine-tuning, and so that book will be coming out. Anyways, in this video, I wanted to talk about the consciousness of God, because there's kind of a fun fact with this that uh, he put on my heart to share. And what that is, is that God has three separate entities, and they all have their own separate consciousness, their own separate mind, will, and emotions. Uh, but they all share the same headspace. That would be like three of my friends shedding their bodies and all sharing one body, one brain. All three consciousness in there at the same time, fully aware, uh, able to communicate with one another amongst the three, but otherwise being in one space. So God, as a Godhead, has the three separate entities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They're all their own unique individual entity. They're all their own person. They're, they have their own personalities. They're separate from one another, but they say, but they still share the same headspace. So God, in his infinite awareness and infinite all-knowing self that he is, uh, or being that he is, has that going on, but at the same time, he's sharing that with the Holy Spirit, who is ever-present also, and same with Jesus. So it's kind of interesting to me how that would work, because we can't really fathom it apart from what I described. I'm sure there's other ways to fathom it, you know, that's not what I meant. Uh, but just to get a concept as to how it works, that's what I just said, it was kind of the gist of it. Um, like three people sharing the same brain. Uh, but it, on their level, it's three different entities, three different beings sharing the same headspace that is outside of time completely. It would be like being off in the distance, looking down at a three-dimensional space, but seeing a timeline of each life in that space. So they could, like a, like a linear timeline, they can pick what was going on at which different time in the existence of that entity, that entity being us, uh, and they're fully aware of everything that we've ever done, that we're doing now, and that we ever will do. Fully aware of it. And what's interesting to me is also something I've shared in other videos, and that is every different choice that we're presented with, once we make that choice, it branches us off into what could be a different potential future. So every combination of every choice every person will ever make that ever existed or will ever exist creates a different possible combination of the future. They're in all of them. And so God is completely outside of time. He isn't limited by time at all. He exists in the timeline that we're in right now. Uh, he exists in the timeline that you're in right now because we're in separate timelines if you're watching this video. This is pre-recorded. We're in a different timeline. You're in a different timeline. I'm doing something else now at the time that you're watching this, um, obviously. But nonetheless, God is in all of this. So though he's not limited by time, he still looks back on this uh, the timeline that we're in now from the future, completely aware of what's going to be happening, aware of all of the possible, possible combinations of choices that you could be making, in all of them at the same time, still looking back at you from another timeline, walking, waiting for you to walk into the blessings that he's placed in your path based on the choices that you make. Either way, there's going to be blessings, um, but the magnitude of those blessings and the frequency of them, um, well, a lot of it has to do with our awareness of those blessings and how often uh, we take a moment to be grateful for something and then give God thanks for that. Because again, once we give thanks to God for anything to be grateful for, and we ask him especially for the to notice the next thing to be grateful for, he does that. And just like I'm driving down the road right now, I'm not gonna make it to the next stop sign before I find something else to be grateful for. And so I'm gonna thank God for that. And then he's gonna get some glory and he's gonna help me notice the next thing and on and on this goes. And so my depression is alleviated and and uh, and a lot of the other issues that I, that I struggled with are pretty much gone now. So it's a very beautiful thing. And now I'm rambling. So I am going to close this video by saying that it is my sincerest prayer in this moment that God bless you abundantly 
continually and continually and abundantly beyond even what you already deserve that when you notice the next thing to be grateful for and you thank God for it that he helps you immediately notice the next thing to be grateful for I pray that God bring redemption and restoration into your life and that you enjoy the rest of this day and the rest of this week I say all these things in the name of Jesus Christ Amen